Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are gonna make another attempt here at full self-driving. And I have the car in full self-driving mode. Uh, it is January 7th, 2023. And uh, we're gonna give this another try. The last time I did one of these videos, it was raining pretty hard outside. And this it's time- feet, turn right on through Vineyard Avenue. So this time we're gonna try it out where uh, you can see it's not raining now. Um, it is a bit overcast. It's about 62 degrees outside. Now uh, turn right onto Vineyard Avenue. But so far you can see the car is doing actually a way better not being in the rain here and being in full self-driving mode. So let's see how well it does. There's some tricky side roads right here. So I am gonna be watching the steering wheel carefully. Uh, and we are on a 25 mile an hour road here. I am gonna slow it down a little bit, uh, but let's see how the car handles some of these tricky turns here and there. Um, but look at everything that's happening on the main dashboard as far as the cars that are around us, uh, the roads that we're driving on, um, any pedestrians walking by or the cones that it sees in the screen. Uh, it's quite impressive everything that the car is actually processing in real time so um, i'm i'm very impressed with the new full self-driving uh, this is still the the overall beta version of the car uh, or the full self-driving capabilities but overall um, not being in the rain it it works uh, quite a bit better uh, significantly better uh, just from uh, my testing of this. I've used this a number of times now, but uh, just want to let you guys kind of see what this uh, is looking like now that we're not in the rain. Uh, this is just a short trip, so we're only going to be driving about in eight minutes. Feet, turn left onto Bernal Avenue. Now up here we have a left turn lane. This lane that I'm also in also goes left. So let's see what it decides to do here just turned on the left blinker on its own. Now turn left onto Bernal Avenue. And it's creeping up on its own here, slowing down. Okay, the light just turned green, so now it's gonna make this tricky turn. Okay, it is paused. Okay, it went ahead and did that all on its own. I didn't do anything. Now we're gonna be turning In right. 500 feet, turn right onto Vineyard okay. Avenue. So you saw how now it handled that right um, perfectly. Okay, it's getting in the right lane. We do have a red light here. Let's see how it, oh, it just turned green. So it does notice that and handled that perfectly. So you could see at that last intersection, it did slow down and pause a little bit, but it figured it out. I did not have to do anything, did not touch the wheel, did not touch the brake, did not touch the accelerator. It handled it perfectly. Okay, now we're just going on this straight road for a little while. Let's see how well it does here. Pretty good. I'm actually really, really impressed with this so far. It handled a lot of that kind of tricky intersection there. I know most people, I'm sure you guys will put comments here below, but most people will say that this is not too difficult. Um, and I agree with you, it's not too difficult, but it is working really well right now. So now you do have to touch the steering wheel from time to time, just like you would normally do in regular autopilot. But um, overall, it's, it's actually handling it pretty darn good. Um, now there's a, another area coming up here that I noticed it can be a little bit tricky for it down towards the bottom of this light. Um, in the older, before full self-driving, it didn't handle this area too well. Well, it looked like it handled it like a champ now, so no complaints there. That was kind of weird. It just turned on the left turn signal all of a sudden for some reason, not sure why, because we are not going left at all, but it just turned it on and then decided to turn it off. So that was pretty quick. So yeah, just kind of cruising along here. We're behind another Tesla, as you can see, and there's a few cars in front of us. So the, uh, uh, the overall speed of the cars have uh, slowed down quite a bit. No one ever gets the speed limit on this road correctly. The speed limit is actually about 50 miles an hour on this road. 
Um, but everyone ends up going about 35 to 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour, sorry, uh, speed limit here is 45, but it does pick up to about 50 uh, really quickly here. And so, but again, no one really ever drives the speed limit on this. They're usually driving uh, below the speed limit um, on the way to my neighborhood. So overall though, full self-driving is way better. It's what I would give it a rating as. So significantly better than what we saw in the rain on the previous video that I did on the full self-driving. I'll continue to post these videos for you guys so you can see how well the car does in full self-driving, especially as there's new updates that occur. Uh, for those of you that have a Tesla and have experienced the full self-driving, um, you can see exactly what I'm talking about here and I'm sure you've experienced it yourself. Uh, for those of you that don't have a Tesla, are thinking about ordering a Tesla, or may have a Tesla on order and you're just waiting, uh, this hopefully will be helpful for you guys to see how well the car actually does uh, in full self-driving. You still need to definitely pay close attention to what is going on in the car. You need to still apply your hands on the steering wheel and uh, make sure that you are uh, really paying attention to things as uh, the car is not completely autonomous. So even though the name full self-driving is there, it's now a little bit right misleading, but the car is significantly better now. It does turn on the turn signals automatically for you, and it does make these turns. I, I am not interacting with anything on the car. It is doing a majority of this completely on its own. Now, going into the gate here at Ruby Hill can be a little bit tricky. It's wanting to go left, but I actually want it to go right. So I, this is the first time I'm gonna interfere with it. And you gotta give it a, a um, kind of a, you know, a pass on that, giving that, um, that this is a little difficult. No I'm gonna go ahead and to stay on East Ruby Hill Drive. turn on the full self-driving again, as you can see there. So it's handling the stop sign just fine. And uh, now it's gonna creep over the speed bump here, make its own left turn, and there you go. So it does get, so you can see there, it got a little confused there on handling that turn, but it figured it out, jumped in. This is a little fast for the neighborhood. I'm gonna slow down the car here um, by just using this wheel here. You can slow down the speed. You can see on the dashboard, I put the max speed now at 23 miles an hour, so the car is, uh, attempting to slow down. Uh, I think 25 is our speed limit here in the neighborhood, so we'll kind of leave it around that. Um, but overall, gosh, I'm really impressed with the uh, full self-driving now, um, not being in the rain, and uh, maybe there's been some additional updates that have gone out on it, so it's, it's done significantly better than that first video. Hey, for those of you that are... Um, that are new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up. It really helps in our overall search now turn right ratings. Monte Drive. So I'd really appreciate that. But as you can see here, we're getting close to my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here, mm -hmm. stop the full self-driving. But if any of you guys have questions, feel free to reach out to me. More than happy to answer them at the bottom. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like the video. Thanks a lot for your time today, guys. Let me know if you guys have any other questions.